Good morning, good morning. We have a big day ahead of us. On our way to go and do some hyper car shopping. We're gonna go to SR Auto Group and we're gonna check out some of Uncle Ray Ray's very special and unique hyper cars, as well as do a massive road trip. Dave and I have taken on driving the Ram and the trailer with the two cars, the race car and the Squadra, all the way back to Cali. It's going to be an adventure, guys. I'm getting full of don't go anywhere. I only have 26 hours to get this truck and trailer to Cali because it's also my wife's birthday on Friday, which I already obviously committed to being in Las Vegas for her birthday. So I have to get down to Southern California so I can get my flight. It says that we need to service the tire pressure sensors. We can't tell what our tire pressures are. Probably not the best thing for when we're about to hit the road. FD champ Mike Essa noticed it was making a bit of a funny noise going up steep hills. And you never know. I think we have mismatched tires on the trailer. I've never driven a truck before, so I figure if we can't make it out of the parking lot, well then I guess it's a good excuse not to do points. You can't do worse than Carlos. Alright, this is probably a really bad idea, but we're doing it. Neither of us have any experience anything this big. I've driven a trailer years ago, nothing like this, close to 40 feet across mountain passes. The biggest fear I have is gas stations because it's just, it's a lot if you're not used to it. You are dressed for the occasion. Yeah, I wore this off. <laughs> flannel. Okay, we are locked and loaded thanks to Celsius. How long is this drive if you follow trucking rules? 26 hours. 26 hours? Yes, it drives like this. First things first, we need fuel. Apparently this truck, because of the mega cab, only has a 122 liter tank, which is how many gallons, I don't remember. Whatever, anyways, it has really deep range. There's that swing there, you got it. Which side is the tank on? It's on this side, luckily. And I nailed it. Woo! I'm on the you wrong side. See. Yeah. Fuel is on the other side. Damn it! All right, here's a real test. I have a trailer without jackknifing it. Look right? Taylor, grab that thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what you gotta watch out for. Is that angle right there? And it's coming towards the edge. It's going pretty quick. Oh my god. It's going so fast. All right, practice, this practice. Easy. This is easy. I don't even know why anybody complains about how hard this is. What the hell's going on here? This is a fuel cap. Yeah. What the hell? That's Carlos' fuel cap. What the oh, hell? I came with a built fuel cap that said Dodge Ram for DDE. But Carlos stole it after he made Dave DDE sign it. He's if you're watching at home right now, get your little phone out, your notepad, start tracking fuel expense. This is fuel stop number one of, uh, I assume, 20? 15? Yeah. So far, the running total is 200. Plus 2177. So this section isn't that bad, but after the hypercar shopping is done, we are going across a border, the US Canada border. And we got to go through US Customs, which we have never done before driving with the truck and trailer, let alone two cars. I don't know what questions you'll ask. Customs likes to usually ask me a lot of questions, usually extra questions. And I normally we have secondary. like this much paperwork we submit before the, tra the travels across. We have no paperwork. Nothing. We have nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, we have no proof we even have these vehicles in our names. It's just a thing. It's ours. On the open road. Well, I've done my first fill up. Now we have four and a half, five hours to get well, down to Vancouver. That's when we're, we're in exotic cars or SUVs. This might take a little bit longer because we went through the mountain passes. Oh yeah. So we are doing like two mountain passes. Half the speed limit. And we are on the verge, I hate to say it, of snow. We went to the track the other day, the temperature was minus one degree Celsius on those back roads. Yeah, below freezing. If there's moisture in the air and it's below freezing and we're on all-terrain tires, mud tires, if you will. They're not good for snow. No, no, no. You just pull over. Yeah. The, uh, par uh, the party is over. I, the truck and trailer might pull over for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the ETA isn't in hours. It actually just says one day and one hour. Wait, Dave wants a coffee. He might not be getting a coffee. There might not be anywhere no, to go, stop. Go through a drive through Go through a drive through Yeah. I'll, I'll get right on that. What truck drivers do is they just pull over on the road, stop where you are, put your hazards on, get out. Where are you going? Doing your trip. Is there Starbucks around here? Now we're truck drivers. I'm gonna pull over here and get myself a cup of joe. <laughs> Fill my thermos, black please. No! Monica! The dirty Max always Dude, wins. this guy's passing me. Oh, you got a little trailer. Royal cargo. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you go. Bye, Felicia. 
All right. High mountain road, expect sudden weather changes. Burnt out bus on one side. Obviously not gonna snow, but there is moisture in the air. So if it is below freezing up top, there could be black ice. I'm not joking, there really could be. There's moisture in the air and in my pants. What? All right, our first snafu I is... asked Dave if the deaf fluid was full and he's You like, are driving the truck know. with a gauge right in front of you. I am the co-pilot. My role is navigation. I don't even know what a deaf... Diesel exhaust is. fluid, otherwise known as cat pits. No. Is there a nozzle in there? I don't know. So I had a diesel facade once, and I thought, you don't actually have to put that food in, do you? No, it'll actually shut down and you can not start your car. The stupidest thing in the world. By the way, that new hoodie looks really good. Because race cars. So assume shopd.com. In the meantime, we have restocked four items. And a few new surprises as well. So go check it out. Go to shopd.com. You didn't wear that on purpose, did you? The I, did, I did wear it on purpose. It's called foreshadowing. We'll by Uncle Ray Ray's Agera RS. And he does have one of the only Koenigsegg Agera RSs in all of Canada. I think there's two. We could potentially buy that. So Suck it up, you sponge. Well, that's not looking promising. No, and it's below zero, it's below freezing, and now clouds have socked us in, and we still have to go over this mountain pass. Now, this is highway through hell. This is the very infamous part of the highway, the Coquihalla. Fingers crossed, guys, we don't have any precipitation because that could easily turn into snow, and we would be absolutely screwed. We'd be parking Especially, the truck. I, we'd be parking the truck. Yeah, yeah. I'd be freaking out. There's a huge hill we have to go down to through the snow shed where they built a tunnel that you can drive through because it avalanches so much. You know what it's called? That it needs to run over what? It's called the smasher. The smasher. The smasher because trucks come down and they can't stop and then they smash. I'll show you guys the smasher when we get there. The smash. So there's so many avalanches right here that they just decided to build this tunnel. It's called a snow shed. Yeah, a snow shed. Normally we're coming through here with the windows down with a nice straight piped V12, but today we got the 3500 Ram and currently slaying everybody right now in the slow lane. See ya, sucker. Not bad. You impressed or what? Pretty impressed, man. Fuel stop number two, we made it over two mountain passes. So far, so good. I only hit like a few cars, a few people. It's a little love tap with the trailer. What's impressive is the fact that you never check your mirrors once when you turn around corners. It's crazy. <laughs> That's actually, it's, it's, it's amazing. All right, let's fill this thing up. Let's keep trucking. I'm gonna go buy some more Let's get fluid. the SR Auto Group. I wanna get a hyper car. Raymond has a whole bunch, Uncle Ray Ray. Maybe we buy Uncle Ray Ray's beloved Bugatti because he's so disrespectful. Take that off his hands, show it some proper- For a discount. Oh, for sure, 500 grand. On the bridge, which means we're heading to the city. We're definitely here to buy a hypercar. We are. We'll buy two. I don't know. We don't know. Right. Oh, it's been a while. It's, it's literally been years since the three of us have been together here at SR Auto Group. Hey! How are you doing? Where is that old man? Raymond's not here yet. He's not here? Too early. Too early. Maybe another half. Come on. Remind him who he works yeah. for. Good to see you, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Cool. Cool. I haven't seen this before. That's sick. That's gorgeous. MSO 765 LT Spider. We got the Pagani Lyra Roadster. We have an NSX in the corner. I saw that. SF90. That's for sale. You want a Ferrari on the channel? SF90? 1,000 horsepower, all wheel drive. Considered a hypercar? Debatable. Master debatable. If I beat a hypercar, this is sick. That's the gem right hey, there. Hey, need for speed. This thing's great. You can see the dust on it. Do the P1 again. Has this car gone up in value, gone down, or stayed the same since we had it? Up. Damn it, how much? Half a million. Off. We had it for one five. Now it's worth two. Look, we see here. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! How are you? Welcome! Welcome back to the vlog, Uncle Raymond. Hello, guys. How are you? How are you? Hey. <laughs> I've never driven a truck and trailer before. I just drove that from Kelowna to here. And? It's quite the experience. You have to be paying attention. It's stressful. Yeah. Why did you guys choose to do this? Well, well you know, we everything. fired Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know why that's funny. Why are your car so dirty? Uh, this is not a way to sell me a hypercar. Hypercar sells themselves, man. Dirty, <laughs> clean. I don't need to sell you anything. I like that. Is that a Lamborghini go kart? Yeah. Should we? We gotta take that out. You guys are here. Really? Yeah. Like it drives. It's electric. Is it fast? It's fast. Really? And it and it drifts. Here we go. How much is this thing worth? Thirty dollars. Thirty hundred bucks. That's cheap. Who's Just gonna drift it? Dave can try. Dave drifts G wagons and defenses. <laughs> That was one time. Oh, that's and the backup sensor. Oh my god. Great. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's actually fast. It's actually pretty fast. Do you have a helmet, Ray? There he goes. 
Oh my god, that's a death trap. You're actually moving fast enough that you get really hurt. Oh, you hurt. get really hurt. Whoa! Oh! Jesus! I literally almost flipped over and I crushed my leg. Just now? Yeah. It drifts. It literally But that's a handbrake right there. You don't need the handbrake. What's yeah. the handbrake do? Uh, it literally locks the rear wheels and you, you'll get used to it. It's a little bit fidgety, it's a little bit what's it called. Yeah. I think he's too heavy for it. <laughs> he's too heavy. No, he's not. You gotta go fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ, put it away. Let's see, let's see your hand. You are literally trying to kill me. Your hand. Oh, that's not bad. You're literally. Cash literally went you over. Are literally <laughs> trying to kill me. It's very dangerous, but I want one. It's very fast. You wanna try it? Scary stuff. I almost went over on my head. Yes. Like my hand stopped that. Oh. You gotta go faster than five kilometers an hour. Okay, yeah, just, just kill it. Don't worry about the tires. <laughs> the brakes have a delay on them. <laughs> Dude. Oh, he's... <laughs> Let's talk numbers. Uh, yeah, 1.8 3 million. 3 million, 1.8. We're, we're a little bit apart. Small gap. <laughs> Dude, you're dangerous on that thing. You're a menace to society on this. The brakes have a delay in them, which is really crazy. Yeah, yeah. Why is there a delay? Did I let you or something? You did. Look at this. Look at this skid mark you left. You left the skid mark coming in. That's pretty cool. 20 minutes and you ruined my floor. You rolled the edges on the tires like it was out of track. Oh, you did. A Pagani slow. I still love the way that this car sounds with the turbos and all that sort of stuff. It's all Mercedes, all easy to drive, all whatever. Uh, this is probably the only car, if you ever straight pipe, that just sounds absolutely nuts. Yes. From a luxury car yeah. perspective. It's the, not it's the not whooshing. a muscle car. You can tune like it. That. You can, but it's you just leave it alone. Houston uh, tuned his. It was yeah, crazy. But I'm the kind of guy that likes parking. This thing's sexy looking. Would you guys rather see this? Would you rather see that? Would you rather see Ferrari SF90? Or would you rather see... I'd have to start borrowing some real money to get into that car. How much does the cutting say with my hat? Four million dollars. Canadian? US. Really? So what is that? That's what, five and a half? Maybe five and a half dollars. million dollars. Uh, I'd have to sell everything. That is worth double that. That's scary. They, this is gonna be worth, in my opinion, 10. 8, 10. Yeah. And then this is gonna be it's, worth. I think it's, it's hit its peak. Four you and a half so? to five million bucks, I think is the peak because this car started off at around 2.6 million or so initially. Well, oh, really? Yeah. That was MSRP? MSRP Euro, I believe. So, uh, but this car, this, the I didn't know that. least uh, made uh, out of the trifecta. So 350? 375 of these, 499 Lafas and uh, 918, 918s. So of the Holy Trinity. The rarest. This is the rarest and the most overlooked right now. This is such a sexy car. The lines of this car are beautiful. Out of all the cars in here, Dave, what would you pick? This car, the coding is just because connection we have with coding is now with James yeah. and yeah. spend time with them. It's a cool brand. The investment value, the P1. <laughs> Drivability, probably P1. Not very tunable. Like you basically buy this car and you drive it. This car, you have the whole P1 GTR kit that you can get put on, the HDK kit, you can get the GT kit. You can do a four liter, you can do it, like they do everything. I miss the Career GT. Uh, that is one car I'm going to, I made oh, this, you I, son I made of this t-shirt just for you. You son of a Touch it, touch it, touch it. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. it's a patch, it's a fuzzy patch. Yeah. They're patched in. That's cool. Let's talk about what car we potentially want to get from here over something to eat, because I am famished. Oh, oh, yes, this is amazing. Look at the, the, it's got hood louvers like the 550. These are hard to get, aren't they? $70,000 Corolla. Shut, what? Yeah. 68 grand. This is not $68,000. You have way too much money. Okay, okay, let's put this into sport mode. Okay. And let's put it into 3070 grip. What's 3070 grip? Oh, 70% rear, 30% front. You can change the diff? Yep, sure can. It's all wheel drive. Okay, it's three cylinder turbo. So this is just like, this is like basically a Corolla version of the WRX STI. Yeah, kind of, but it's totally with Small the yaw motor. system where they can change it all. Is it quick? Who does not have a seatbelt on? I don't. The driver. Take Put your seatbelt on. I missed this. You missed what? All, Us? all of this. We need to spend more time together. Dude, yeah, that was three years ago we were stuck in your shop with you for stuck in my shop, huh? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, we were definitely COVID. Fast track. Yeah. How's it going? This is so nostalgic. Bo Jalapo. We were coming and eating lunch here like every day for all that time oh, yeah. when we were here. All right, we've already.
already won the negotiation skills on getting a hyper car because Raymond is down lunch already. What was uh, that? That was like a hundred dollars in soup. One hundred ten dollars in soup. Now the price just went up to two point three one. <laughs> <laughs> can Damon drive us back to the shop? You sure can. That's a mistake. Let's go. You ready? <laughs> this car. It's, it's a GR. Car. <laughs> My favorite car. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, man, I did nail that. Was, you nailed it. <laughs> hey, Raymond. I need to make a decision. We had a conversation over lunch yep. between a few of the cars here. You There's knocked all, me down. You knocked me down to 2.1. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and Uncle Ray is holding out on us. There are other cars. We can't discuss them right now. We have some decision, decisions to make. My mouth's very dry from all the sodium in that suit. Comment below. I want to know what your guys' number one choice is. You gotta and, give them a budget. And tell me why. Two million. Two million bucks. We got, you got 918, two, two P1s, P1, Senna, SF90, random cheap yeah. cars. 765 LT, what else could you buy? You know, 599 GTO. Could get another CGT. Uh, CGT? I do miss that car. And videos never do this car justice. Every time I see this car in a video, I'm like, P1s are nice. But then when I see it in person, in I, person get, I get dead. obsessed with it again. Hey, when you see it in person, Dave, how sick is it? It's pretty gorgeous. He was really nice to let us drive both of them at the same time. Remember that? This is this an Senna you had back yeah. in the day. Yeah. I gave him both. I gave him both to us. And what did you say was, to us? That's right. You break it, you buy it. And that was it. downtown, uh -huh. and we drove them out by kits. That's a lot of trust you gave us back then. Uh, I did. You didn't know me back then. That was uh, new. No, so you, so you so were around this. That I gave you in the rain. More than, more than once, yeah. In the rain and out the highway, which you didn't know we were going down yeah, the highway. I didn't know where you guys went. Okay, we need to make a decision. We're not buying anything right now because we have a truck with a trailer that's full of cars already. We're out of here. Okay, buddy. I gotta take the flannel off. It's getting a bit it's warm. This the sun came out. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Good Comment below. Again. What car? He's it's time for one. a hyper car. He's gonna buy it. Yes. I like that car. But I think we have to get something else. Hey David, your turn to drive. Let's do this. Let's go to the border. Come with us. Get in. Yeah, come with us. No. Get into that. <laughs> Later. See you guys. Have a good trip. Will we make it over the border? Hi Raymond. This is it. The start of the US Canada border, you guys. Last turnaround before entering the US is right there. We also yeah, have you literally right now are screwed. You want to turn around and change your mind? Yeah, I know. Oh, I love that feeling. I know. Uh, I know. Uh, Look at that. That's a cop car too, undercover. We also have a race car, and race cars don't have what? Registration. Nothing. No title. Nothing. It's just a Nada. car. So there's the big peace arch. It's actually a beautiful monument. And we got all sorts of like telemetry and radar and crazy things going on here. Antennas. CIA. Canadian Intelligence Agency. <laughs> it's not a thing. U.S. Port of Entry. What are you thinking of my photo? Back when I was still chubby. You look scary. What the hell? Why are you not happy? You're supposed to smile for this photo. I was probably 30 pounds lighter. Well, here we go. Look at this. Well, that was easy. No issues. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was so easy. Okay, so now the real trick is this obstacle course right here. Try getting through that. Do you think you can do it? Oh, <laughs> oh you're, yeah, you're good. You're just gonna, I hope you touch it. Oh, God. Did you get it? Yeah. My man. Nice work. That's actually a really cool piece of art right there. How crazy is we went to the border and didn't even look in the trailer to Lamborghinis. We told them we had Lamborghinis with us. We're like, oh, that's cool. Didn't even look at anything. Didn't even in fact, anything. the guy called them Ferraris and we quickly corrected him and said, hey, 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 so shut your mouth when you're talking to me. heard this, but did you hear what they're talking about? No. It's some guys from Daily Different Exotics. Oh. So we got lucky because someone knew who we were. Well, we made it. We're in the state of Washington, and now we have a 25 hour road trip ahead of us that we have to hope nothing goes wrong with the truck, nothing goes wrong with the trailer. Two very expensive cars in that trailer. Don't screw this up, David. You are the captain of the ship, and you guys are coming with us because this adventure, this road trip, don't sleep. This road trip, even in supercars, is a long haul. There's two mountain passes we have to go over. Grant's Pass. We're truckers now, man. We're cutting costs. Yeah. Welcome to Seattle Rush Hour. We are heading towards Tacoma and Portland, currently stuck in this traffic. We have a beautiful view of the downtown Seattle area. Look at this. We've been watching flow planes fly over the truck and land right here on the lake. Boom. That is called the Space Needle right there. That pointy building right over there. 
there. This is the head office of Starbucks. Back when I worked here, we came here often to the head office and it sucked. Really? Yeah, it's boring. I thought it'd be cool. No rides, nothing cool, just offices. And no rides at the Starbucks head there office. There is a Starbucks inside the head office just for the employees, but there's a full Starbucks just for the employees. And yes, you have to pay. No. Yeah. You have to pay? Yep, yeah, so there's a regular store in the office and you pay. But we are still 19 and a half hours away from our destination. So don't go anywhere. Anything could happen. The underground roadways of Seattle are quite crazy. There are many, many layers. There's this layer, there's that layer, there's a layer above that, there's tunnels, there's a road over here that goes up over there, then there's a road that goes across over here. I don't know what's going on, but it's crazy. Seattle's got the craziest underground roadways with a lot of greenery. Look at that. Then they got trees and buildings. Check this out. It's like a jungle, a concrete jungle. Look at this. Look at the layers. What? Look at the buildings. That's it. Off into the sunset we go. We have a very long night ahead of us. I just woke up. I'm trying to get some sleep because I'm going to be doing the night shift. How are you feeling? Good. We'll do like, we'll do three hour increments. 17 hours. A thousand miles still. 1,086 miles. All right. I couldn't hold out any longer. I got to use a little pee break. We might as well fill up on the old diesel. Get some more snacks. How's he going to do this? How do you think he's going to do this, guys? Yeah, flip it around. See, this is what we're talking about. That is not a short rig setup. But so far, with no experience and never driving a truck and trailer before, and Dave very rarely driving truck and trailer in the last 20 years, we've done less damage to our trailer or our truck than Carlos. <laughs> Carlos? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's hilarious. So this is connected. Look at this one. Gotcha. It's a dummy. Yeah, they, uh, never seen a dummy they installed pump? it, but they haven't hooked it up yet. So we were just saying, I've never seen that before. I've never seen it. It's like a dummy pump. Pull over. Oh, this is the easy spot to get into. They're like, psych. Psych. Is there any funky snacks or anything you want now that we're in the US? There's things here. Your guys' FDA approved that like <laughs> our Canadian government would never let us Canadians eat. No. Ever. No. There's some dirty, dirty, dirty snacks you want to get. Maybe I'll take a challenge and do like a egg salad sandwich at a gas station. Oh, oh, oh. Our boy. The strad man, he was all about the nutter butter. Yeah, Dave's he changed. They didn't do that. Remember anymore. the nutter butters? Now he's just rich. All right, we are in the snack aisle now. I got some of these. They're quite healthy. We do have these in Canada. I like them. I'm gonna roll a dice on a classic gas station tradition, which is a sandwich made fresh weekly. A British sub for Mr. Uh, JWW. Yeah, sandwich for Nico. <laughs> you get it? He's poor. Oh, oh look, at look at stocking up. We're gonna get some Celsius. It's a vibe. All right. You got the snacks, huh? Bro. Got some lottery tickets. Bro. You know you can't win unless you're a resident, right? So I'll keep pushing to the next gas stop and stay over for like four hours and I'll sleep for four hours. What do you say about that? Is that what you want to do? No, I'm, I'm good to go right now. You don't, you don't want me to do this? I'll go into the moment I have fatigue and I fall asleep and when I wake up, we'll switch seats. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, an adventure. It's been fun. Wow. So I just realized something. Did you check the cars before we left Kelowna? We didn't check the cars. We trusted Michael S's strap in. Are the cars even freaking in there? For all we know, a strap came loose and like the cars this. have been hitting each other the whole time. <laughs> Just like this. So we'll see how good we are at doing this. Oh, no, true. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Hey, hey, hey. The lights are cool. All right, the cars are still here and I don't see any damage. I think they're both strapped down still. Hey, look at that. Entering Portland. Welcome to Oregon, you guys. Oh! there. 999 miles to go. 999 miles to go. 999 miles. Take one down, pass it around. What? Hey, Portland. What's up, Portland? Hi. Hi. Look at that view. That's pretty cool. And like that, we are in California. Still have 11 hours to go. Dave, what'd you do? I'm oh, getting pulled over. In, in the, the freaking work truck. How are ya? I stopped to for your speed today. Oh, speeding? Yes, by a lot. So the speed limit in California for all automobiles while towing is 55. In fact, you just passed by a speed limit sign stating that. You were going 87 miles per hour. This won't do 87 miles per hour. I was behind you at 87 miles per hour. Did you use a radar gun? Mm-hmm. And I was pacing you at 87. So radar and pacing you at 87 miles per hour. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Yep. 
And then do you have your registration insurance? Yeah, card? give me a sec. All right. And it's funny because you... you said that I was doing 87. I have not gotten this thing past 65. So I have two cars on the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, confirmed twice. So also radar as well as. So when you were doing, you. when you were radar, was that like lidar, or like laser, or is that like the, the radar is uh, radio frequency? Radio frequency. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also driving 87 miles per hour while driving behind you. Gotcha. All right, stay in the car, right back. Thank you. A couple things. Uh, there's no way I was doing 87 in this thing. Oh, that's like 150 kilometers an hour, dude. There's no way. Do you know how terrifying that would be? It's crazy. The fastest I've had this thing this entire drive today, we're on the Coca-Cola, which is a speed limit. 115. Is 115 kilometers per hour, and the speed limit's 120 there. I'm, I'm generally shocked because, or maybe it's the wheels? The ir ironic part is that we're towing two Lamborghinis and we get pulled over for speeding in the truck and trailer. Yeah, I it. Did issue a citation for speeding, but not for 87 and 55. Okay, decided you for going 10 over. What that does is it brings you into the lower fine bracket for that speed violation. Okay. Um, biggest thing though is just knowing that the speed limit is 55 for you. Got it. That way you don't get pulled over that's again. Really, that's really slow. My drive just got longer. I get it. I get it. <laughs> you know, and you know the commercial truck drivers don't like it either because they get out of California and then they immediately are able to speed up again. You also pass the sign back there. It says slower vehicles must stay to the right. Got it. Okay. Signing is not admitting guilt. You're just promising to take care of the ticket. Drive safe. Okay. Yeah. Have a good night. Be safe out there. He was cool. 55 is so slow though. My God. 85 kilometers an hour. The next time we do this road trip, we'll drive to the top of California and then call Carlos to drive the rest of the way. We have like nine hours, 16 minutes, and now we have to do 55. And I have a little yellow reminder of that. And by the way, it is 5 a.m. now, so the sun should be coming up soon. I left the yellow reminder on the side of the road for you. <laughs> and the drama continues. We have some serious thick black smoke building on top of that bridge up here. I suspect a car or a truck's on fire right now. Yep. That's serious. And we're praying right now that these hills don't combust. So obviously, it'd be a big issue with wildfires that we're used to now. Yeah, that's gotta be a car for sure. Oh my goodness, look at it. Holy. Well, driver's out. You can see him right there on his phone. So he's safe. Holy crap. brushes on fire. We had a CHP officer flip, a, flip around when they saw us. Yeah, he's coming. He's gonna pull me over. Are you getting pulled over? Probably. No. Probably. You are. Sure am. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can't make this Gentle, gentle, gentle. Hey, dust him out a little bit. Huh? <laughs> Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Yeah. Please okay. don't act like you don't know why I'm stopping you. I, I, for your for your speed, then when you're out there in the number one lane, I just want around. I just want around a guy. What do you think your speed limit is? And I know you know. It's 55. It's 55. Yeah, I just went around a guy. Okay. He was pulling over. Anyways, license registration. <laughs> yeah, sure, no worries. I was just gonna ask if you knew what the speed limit was, but with you pulling over to the two lane and slowing down, you know that the speed limit is 55 for you. I was coming right back in, right when right when we were pulling up to you, so. I'll be right back, give me just a few. Yeah, no worries. I think you're getting a front plate ticket as well. Dude, we were on home stretch. We had two hours, two and a half hours left to go. And they really take that seriously, the trailer thing here in California. He also shouldn't be playing dumb that he didn't see the car that I was passing that was pulling over to the side of the road. I'm not gonna just stay behind a car that's slowing down and trying to pull off the side of the road. I sped up and around, went around that guy <clears throat> and I was pulling in this lane. I got him behind. The thing that's funny is like, they don't really give you much of oh, like a window to like go around someone and slow back down. Like when he came back up behind me, I was doing the speed limit driving behind the truck. So I was like, what do you want from me? It's not like he caught me speeding down the road and was pacing me. David. <laughs> two for two. <clears throat> two for two. I'll let you know, I did cite you for exceeding the 55 mile hour maximum speed limit out here, okay? No worries. Your signature in the red box below is not, not an admission uh, yeah. of guilt. No worries. Okay, you're just accepting responsibility. Again, you're not admitting any guilt, sir. Yeah, no worries. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. How's your day going? It's going. <laughs> There you go.
All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, yeah, sir. No worries. Thanks for doing what you do. All right. I appreciate it. Um, when you do leave here, use the right shoulder to build up your speed. I will. Left turn to go on, merge out when it's safe to do so, okay? Sounds good. You gentlemen have safe travels very, very You handy. too, just okay. here. Okay. Take care. Safe. Appreciate it, thank you. Cheers. Put on the stack. <laughs> we got the exact same ticket. What? Like, literally. <laughs> yeah! We're back in LA! We're back yeah. in LA! And, well, there's this. So, it is home stretch, you guys. Hold on, focus. An hour and 30 minutes left. It has been a grueling, we calculated the hours. 30 hours and 30 minutes of drive time. That's a lot. We cut out the two hours off of Ray Ray. We left Kelowna 32 and a half hours ago and only had two hours of stopping. Other than that, just a gas stop, but very quick. We have not sat down in a restaurant. We have not brushed our teeth. I brushed my teeth. When? When you were sick. I'm getting new teeth anyways. I'm getting new teeth anyways, doesn't matter. <laughs> a home stretch and then we'll rock out the boys. We called them yesterday at 2.30 p.m. saying we're leaving Vancouver now. And they laughed at us. And they laughed at us. We're gonna get there at three o'clock. Just so shove it in their faces. <laughs> 30 hours comes down to 30 minutes. We're here on the 6.05 to 4.05 to Magnolia to get back to our shop. It's a crazy drive, man. It has been... Uh, One way to learn how to drive a truck and trailer. It has been a lot of things. Emotional times. A few car pullovers. We are officially now long haul truckers. Oh, 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 and they said it couldn't be done. To all the haters out there, this one's for you. Here we are at the DDE HQ. Your Predator front bumper, the minivan, and miscellaneous. Hey, we don't need you anymore. They're filming a video right now. It's good. 1,500 miles straight, boys. How are you doing, dog? Good. How are you guys? You look better. You guys look fast. What's up? I just yeah. saw you like yesterday. I know, it feels like it. <laughs> so we did, it's 1,500 miles, we did it in 30 hours. We took shifts sleeping. Yeah. We only stopped for lunch with Raymond, make a video with him, and then drove straight from the border. By the way, Customs didn't even look in the trailer. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. They didn't even like, look. Just like, what's First up? time driving a truck and trailer. And you made it. That's pretty wild, eh? That was a f ride.